Hi, Bookcube. Hello. Um, we're doing something uh, that we do once a year. This is our top 10 reads of 2021. We're a couple days late. We wanted to get it out on the 31st. Didn't quite make it. Just um, didn't happen. Yeah, we were pretty low energy um, on the 31st, so we didn't get it done. And uh, in order to get these out, we either have to go to town or have to wait till the next day. So we, we just figured, um, well, we'll do, it, we'll do it tonight, and then we can take it to town and get it uh, uploaded. Not, not, we, we have internet. Internet sucks around here. Because so. we live in a bike hole. It, it can take like four to five hours. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, what we're going to do, um, I have a couple honorable mentions. I think Becky has one honorable mention. Two. Oh, she has two honorable mentions. Two. Good. Um, and I have two. And then we're going to do our top ten. Uh, I do honorable mentions as a cheat just to get an extra couple books in there that I, that I wanted to talk about that I that I read for the year. And if you hear any uh, weird sounds over the audio, it's the, the people behind us are out um, shooting every gun they own. Yeah. And, yeah, we, we live out in the middle of nowhere, so people are allowed to do that. Um, Which appears to be a pretty impressive arsenal. Yeah, it does. I hear large shotguns. I hear large rifles. I hear large... Handguns, I, I, I can kind of tell the difference. Like, that's a handgun happening right now, <laughs> if you can't hear it. Um, I can't tell the difference. It sounds like a gun. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I, don't, I don't even like guns, and I, but, but I was raised with them, so, yeah. Okay. You ready to jump in this yep. face first? Who's going first with number 10? No, 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 with honorable mentions. Honorable mentions? I've got two honorable mentions. I'll go first. Okay, I do too. Because I like the limelight. Um, so the first honorable honorable mention I have is um, Eleven Twenty Two Sixty Three uh, by Stephen King. Good God. God, that's distracting. Um, I lo I really liked that book. It was very good. He um, he brought in some characters from past books which i i greatly enjoyed he uh it, it had it had a, a surprisingly hopeful ending which <laughs> I, I come to find that wasn't him who wrote it but still <laughs> it you, was a very good book you you buddy read that didn't you <coughs> mm -hmm. i read it with uh no uh, noah and um scott St I'm having trouble here <laughs> with uh, Noah and everyone who reads it must converse and uh, 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 Scott Danielson Danielson Jesus I know who I read it with I just can't bring names to mind today I am so sorry guys <laughs> Lord have mercy uh, but yeah we we actually had a really good time with that buddy I invited myself to it but still, it was really good. That's kind of how I do most buddy reads. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, we don't get invited to things. We just, uh... Because nobody likes us. I know. Because we suck. Yeah. We're not yeah. good at this YouTube thing at all. <laughs> it's, 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 the, it's the cowboys, isn't it? Yeah. I refuse to believe it's the aliens. Um... The, se <laughs> the second honorable mention I have is actually a short story. Yeah, we, we don't I have props today. <laughs> um... It, it takes a long time to get props together, so we just decided to, just to forego them. Yeah, we'll put the names of the, of the books and stuff at the bottom. Um, Stupid people. I swear they are just... Just going at it, they yeah. Must, they must be going at some trees out there with guns, <laughs> trying to chop them down. Hopefully they're not, <laughs> hopefully they're not going at each other. Of course, um, of course that, that's, that's probably how they chop down their firewood <laughs> around here. <laughs> to shoot the tree down. Yeah, we live in the mountains of Georgia. I mean... You have banjo music okay. at about midnight every night. <laughs> we do not. It's just the angsty no, shrieking of moonshiners. But anyway, um, the second, Same uh, thing. <laughs> the second, you you have really really thrown me off my groove. I didn't <laughs> even have one to begin with. The second honorable mention I have is a short story by Megan Wade, and it's called Marshmallow. And that's, that's the reason it's not on my top ten, because it's a short story. And I cannot describe to you how much I loved that short story. 
absolutely loved that short story. It was sweet, beautiful, poignant. It was oh, so good. But again, it's a short story. It's not a book. So I put it on my honorable mentions. Okay. What is your honorable mention? Uh, what, what was the author's name? Her. Megan Wade. Megan Wade. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. She wrote some great short stories. My, my honorable mentions uh, are books that people have heard of. Hey. People have heard of Stephen King's 112263. Yeah. So there. Both, both of mine are books that people have heard of. It's just a short story. Okay. Let <laughs> okay. me hurt you. I'll start throwing um, stuff at you. The first honor honorable mention is a book I really <laughs> loved. And then at the same time, I have reservations about because it's so freaking weird. It's Ringworld by uh, Larry Niven. Very strange book. It's got it. it, it he, he took some really weird. Uh, he made some really weird choices to put in the story, like he the, this whole luck thing, um, that didn't really fit well. But of course, then I had to go back and think this was done in 1970. This, this story was the story was published in 1970. I don't know when it was written, so I understand why it's there. But I, I thought it was very strange, and that's the reason it's not in my top ten. Actually, were some of those weird, um, weird choices he made that made me think, WTF? <laughs> very weird. I, but but I did really enjoy it, and I, and I highly recommend it to people who like uh, science fiction. And if you don't like science fiction, go read science fiction. You're crazy for not reading sci-fi. Um, the second one is Don Don Quixote. Really. Second honorable mention. Yeah, I enjoyed Don Quixote. I thought it was, especially the first half. Um, I did enjoy the second half, but I liked the first half a lot more. I think I think it was strongest when it was comedic. Um, but it was beautifully written, beautifully translated by, was it Grossman? Oh, Eve? I can't remember. There's the book over there, yeah. It, it, I believe it's Edith, Edith Grossman did the translation. I can't and, see it um, here. I'm blind. Um, I really did enjoy it. It, it. It's my first read through of Don Quixote. I'll probably read it again one day. I know there's some stuff I missed. Um, but, yeah, I'm definitely going to read it again. We're going to have a... Um, I, I might even do, do another read along with it. That's what we did last year. That's what we did in January was we had a buddy read of Don Quixote. I've read it twice. I, actually, it was December. or It was December, but I didn't finish it until January. So I've read it twice. Twice was enough. Okay, that's fine. Mm. All right, you want to go to number 10? All right, number 10. So, just a, a, a warning. <laughs> Every single thing on my uh, my list is part of my alien romances. Because that's almost like 100% what I read last, last year. That in short stories. Um, so, to, don't be surprised. <clears throat> alien romance short stories. No, no, these are all alien romance books. No, I did not read <laughs> No, they were contemporary short stories. Don't make me hurt you. But You read uh, a 2,000-page book of alien short stories. Uh, yeah, but that's like the only book of short stories I read, and half of them were novellas. <laughs> <laughs> but, but no, no, the, the short stories that I read, they were they were very, uh, very much uh, contemporary okay. romances. Um, <clears throat> None of them were on the list. Right. So this is a really good uh, list of... Uh, series of, of short of, of books to go to for the uh, the alien romance genre and um there are some that are actually i absolutely adored the series so i put the first book of the series number 10 is it's his human nanny by michelle mills I was really upset by the last one that was uh, published before the one that's before the current one. And I haven't read the current one yet. It's I'm probably going to read it for uh, next Friday. Um, I'm 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 looking forward to that greatly. Uh, I really really enjoy this series. The uh, the the female characters are all they're all it's it's very niche. The female characters are all curvy girls. You, okay, and, um, you you should have uh, written down the series name. Up to all of them. I should have. Yeah. Because they're all part of series, I'm sure. Yes. Every one of them. I got a couple of books from series in here. A few, actually. But anyway, that's my number 10. Is okay. His Human Nanny by Michelle Mills. It's so cute. Number 10 for me, uh, The Strange Case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. 
wow, what a, what a great book this is. It's a it's a novella. It's pretty short. Um, but God, it's so it's so good, so well written. Um, I wish I had gotten a book out. I don't know. I've got it here behind me somewhere. But um, had a great time with it. First time read through. I, I'm not putting any rereads on this list. No, we're only putting um, one book per uh, author. Or other, otherwise, I could have had two two books on here from the same author, but I didn't. Um, yeah, the strange case of Doctor Jekyll and Mister Hyde had a great great time with that book. It's it's creepy, um, fascinating. I mean, Robert Louis Stevenson is heck of a great. storyteller. Yeah, he is a great Victorian writer. One of my, one of my favorite things about uh, uh, Doctor Jekyll Doctor Jekyll and Mister Hyde is how. Uh, Robert Louis Stevenson described the way people hate uh, Mr. Hyde. They don't know why. They just yeah. know they do. Yeah. And, and I've, I've never seen a movie that did this, the book justice. Mm, because, they, because they always always make Mr. Hyde monstrous. Yeah, and Mr. Hyde, him... Mr. Hyde was not like a, just a total monster in the book. It was more like there was just something about him that people hated. And uh, I found that fascinating. I love that. That mm -hmm. aspect of the book, and it surprised me. I did. I didn't expect that. So yeah, Doctor Jekyll, the, the strange case of Doctor Jekyll, and Mister Hyde is number ten. Uh, my number nine is Wrecker by Ava York, and what I really like about R E K K E R R E K K E R Wrecker. What I really like about this story is, um, with most, with uh, well, with a lot of the alien, of the alien romances, and most series. Uh, current series romances a lot of authors are going for a standalone I, they're they're part of a greater series but they can be read as a standalone series that's not the case a standalone book yeah a standalone book um that's not the case with uh wrecker and all the books that follow um i think it's like kyer and i, I can't remember all the names but um hey, hey, when, when you make your list put uh we're gonna have a list underneath when you make your list uh put the the series name? The series name oh. beside it. Um, so people can get it if they want. Yeah. For some reason. Um, hey! I'll beat you up. Um, but the thing about this is it's a continuing story throughout all five books. It's five books? It's five books. Yeah, it's a continuing story all throughout all five books. And you have to read it in order to really understand what's going on. And I love it. It 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 makes it much e much easier to put down one book and just jump right to the next because I'm dying to know what's happening in the storyline, not just with these characters that I I've really really grown to uh love. And by the time you get to the fifth, fifth book, you're dying to read that last book because you you've been uh, exposed to the 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 main character of the fifth book throughout the entire series. So I'm oh I love it so much. It's so good. Wrecker by Eva York is number okay. nine. Mine um, is a book I read with uh, Bill Rutenberg like back earlier in the year. And man, did I have a great time with it. And Bill has read it a lot of times. He reads it about once a year. That was a big one. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's um, The Bastard by John Jakes. Um, it's the first book of the Kent Family Chronicles. And man, how fun was that book. Wow. Um, it, it is about a boy who... Um, who leaves France eventually to come to America after he is pretty well turned away by his father's family. His father's family is rich. They're, they're semi-royalty <clears throat> in uh, England. And that sounds kind of awful. <laughs> it's not. It's not. I mean, I mean that, that aspect of the story is kind of heartbreaking. Yeah, that's but what I mean. But then at the same time, <laughs> but then at the same time, you see that it's... Uh, it, you know, it's really the best for him. Okay. Um, and that's not a spoiler. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, The Bastard by John Jakes. We, have we already been at this for 14 minutes? Yeah. Wow. Okay. Because I talk a lot. Yeah, let's, let's, let's not talk so much. What's it to you? you? Okay. I don't want um, this to be like 45 minutes long. It might end up being 45 minutes no, long. No, let's not make it 45 minutes long. I'm not rushing through this because I have to talk about my books. You can't you can't make me, make me rush my All stories. Right, well, let's All right, <laughs> number eight. <laughs> I've talked about this one before. <laughs> is uh, I married a lizard man by uh, Regina Bell. Oh yeah, 
You I talk to her. I think it's I think it's something it's something like the Prime Dating Agency, um, or something something close to that. I'll I'll put it down in the descriptions. Um, such a good book. Again, a standalone one of the standalone books is part of a bigger series, sort of thing. But oh, so very very good. Reg Regina Bell uh, has nice lady too. Yeah, she's very nice. Um, and very forgiving, but she has a, she has a great, great knack for world building. And I, oh, I loved this series of books so much. They're, they're just divine. Okay. My, God, God, you hear that? How much do you think they spend on ammo? A lot. Even reloading ammo costs a lot. It's like they get paid on Friday and go buy ammo. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably about right. But they, they almost got a big check this week. I guess. Or, or they saved their Christmas bonus till. <laughs> All right. So number eight for me is Bleeding Edge by Thomas Pynchon. Um, I, I, I liked this book a lot. This book was, it wasn't the easiest read in the world as for, for me, anything by, by Pynchon from what I hear. This is my first Thomas Pynchon. I want to try to do a Thomas Pynchon book a year. I want to. I read uh, Bleeding Edge first. I think I'm going to go with Inherent Vice this year. Uh, try to read Inherent Vice, um, and then get heavier with Pynchon as I go. But but I, I may read Vineland this year too. I'm not sure. Um, I, I I hear good things about that one. But I like what I've read so far by Pynchon. Um, it's at number eight because it's not the kind of book that'll ever be in my top top spots top three or four spots like uh, i mean if i have to work that hard for something i got a really nice um sense of accomplishment from doing it from reading it and i and about halfway through i really got it and i really started to enjoy it um after that uh it was just easy it was just it, it was an easy read it, it's a detective story it's a uh, freaking weird it's a science fiction story it's got so much involved and i really had a good time with it i tried to do a wrap-up video on it in a review video didn't work could couldn't do it I, I i couldn't do it justice so that's number eight bleeding edge okay number seven is mama and the alien war, war, warrior. warrior warrior war warrior by honey phillips <laughs> uh this this series, I love this series because it's it's all about uh, about uh, the effect that children have on uh, budding relationships, even even amongst uh, aliens and humans, um, and they're all just so sweet. They're great for a, a uh, okay. This this gun. beginner readers <laughs> is shaking our house. <laughs> Got a fucking blunderbuss down there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> fucking rednecks, a man. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I have mental <laughs> images of this guy out there with his big like muskets. <laughs> oh, okay. Where was I? Um, okay. Ma uh, Mama and the Alien Warrior is part of the uh, Treasured by the Alien series, and they're wonderful. They're they're sweet. They're very very sweet. If you're looking if you're looking for a, a good light uh, light hearted alien romance, they're great for that. But that's not my number seven. Is Mama and the Alien w Warrior by Honey Phillips? Mine is uh, by Mark <coughs> Gra Mark Graney, and it's the Gray Man. Um, the first book in the Gray Man series. I easily could have put the second one in here instead. Uh, I think they're both equally great suspense books, like great thrillers. Um, if you haven't read Mark Graney and you enjoy a good thriller, if, and if you like Tom Clancy and haven't read Mark Graney, I don't know what you're doing. Um, I, I think he is a, he's actually a superior writer to Tom Clancy. Um, I mean, and, and that's nothing against Tom Clancy. It's just that Mark Graney is so good. Um, there is going to be a a Netflix movie of of Mark Graney. Uh, I mean, of uh, the Gray Man uh, with um, God. What, what's that actor's name? He was in La La Land and. Um, oh God, Ryan 
Is it Ryan Gosling? Yeah, yeah. Ryan, Ryan Gosling is going to be playing Court Gentry, um, and I'm I, I'm I'm good with that. Um, Court Gentry is kind of an unassuming, uh, unassuming guy, kind of like Ryan Gosling is. It's going to be good. <laughs> think about that. That uh, I think that bit of story you sent me about his luck. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> from the second book. Uh, but apparently, there's some really, really, really he crazy sense of humor in that book. Yeah. It, it, it's good. It's good, and it's and it's uh, it's sparse, but when it's there, it is there. It's but great. I mean, great books. Some of my favorite reads of the year. You know, I really wouldn't be on this list, but still, number seven is the Gray Man. Could easily be on target. The second book of the series. So go ahead with yours. Uh, number six is called Vorgak the Cruel by Kara Wild. V o r g a k. Um, it's part of the Orc Mates series, and we're not talking Lord of the Rings orcs. <laughs> we're talking, I hope um, not. they're, they're, no, they're, th these are interdimensional, uh, uh, beings that they labeled orcs to begin with because people have no sense of humor. What is happening? <laughs> we're at, <laughs> we're at, uh, Hyde, Hyde Cottage today. Steve, with Steve Donahue, all this, all this I, noise. I mean, we live I, out in the middle of nowhere. I've never heard anything like it. <laughs> okay, um, but yeah, the the uh, the Orc Mates series is amazing. I, I I eat them up. I love them so much. I I I have one that I have to read, and I'm gonna read it this Friday because I'm so excited. Yeah, good. You're saving it for then. Uh huh. Okay. Number six for me is Outlander by Diana Gabaldon. Um, I, it's the first one I've read. I just finished it, what, a week and a half ago, something like that. Mm -hmm. It didn't take me long to read either, did it? Not at for all. For an 850-page book, I, read, I got through it fast. Um, I really, really enjoyed it. I have heard somebody say that they think the book suffers from being put in the romance section when it's not, when it's not exactly a romance. It's, it's a romance. But I, I'm fine with that. Um, uh, it, it, it's a romance with some fantasy, um, some history. She's great with, with with historical subjects. Ex, first one was great, and I've got the first four, so I can't I can't wait to read them. Uh, to to get through the rest, they are great. I want to try to get to book two here before too long, but I don't know. I've got such a such a crazy schedule. I'm not sure it's going to happen. So number six is Outlander. Uh, my number five is called Claimed by the Hunter. Um, it's by Linnea Lee, and they're part of the Zarkin Warriors series. I got it out that time. You did. You got it. Um, I love this series just so very, very much. There, there hasn't been a book disappointment yet, like not once. Um, they're 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 very they're very very they're consistently good. They're they're set in a post apocalyptic world, and um. The story is a continuation. They're not standalone books, like at all, which makes me happy. It's very hard to find a good romance uh, series in this genre um, that's not all standalone. Um, but yeah, I stolen by no, that's that's claimed. Nice claimed by the alien by the hunter. I'm gonna get this right at one point. Is my number five, Linnea Lee. They're very very good. If you if you're looking for a good action packed book. Uh, uh, set of books. Yeah, my, my number five is by Terry Brooks, and it's the sword. The sword of the the way he puts it is Shannara or Shannara or something like that. He puts it as as the most or the least interesting way. Shannara. Yeah, it's Shannara. I like Shannara. It sounds better. I call it Shannara. Like yeah, Shannara. That, that that that's actually what what Terry Brooks says, but that is the least interesting way to say it. It's how it looks <laughs> it, and um but but i had such a good time with it. it it it's the kind of it's the kind of um fantasy that has a sense of joy about mm -hmm. it such a good book except for the second book which made me cry the second book is really good and hate but, the series but the uh the, the sort sort of uh shannara if you haven't if you haven't read it and you are a um fantasy fan at least give, give it a shot yeah, it may not be your thing. It, it is closer to 
Lord of the Rings in that in that sense of joy and sense of wonder than anything. Mm. So, yeah, yeah. Give, give it a try. Uh, my number four is called Stolen by an Alien. It's by Amanda Milo, and the, the series is Stolen by an Alien. Um, and this this book, this series, it, it has some grit to it. There are some really, really heavy books in the series. But Amanda Milo has such a way of building, of world building, that you, it, it, it's not a... It's not, uh, an issue. They're very, very good books, um, but again, they're 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 pretty hard hitting. If you're not up for anything beyond a really sweet, fun ride, but yeah, stolen by an alien by Amanda Milo is my number four. Okay, mine, uh, my number four is A Lathe of Heaven by Ursula K. Le Guin. Um, I saw Steve Donahue recommend this book. And say it's a really good place to start with Ursula K. Le Guin. I could not agree more. It was my first Ursula K. Le Guin. Um, man, how good was it? I mean, it was just so good. And it was, um, it has a lot to do with with the dream world and how dreams, you know, how, uh, you know, and in the book, dreams affect reality. And they don't affect reality just in a small way. They affect reality in a huge way which i'm sure there's an allegory there not, that i'm not <laughs> smart enough to get but there it is um lay, lay the heaven number four highly recommended please please read that um if you like science fiction at all and it's a great place to start with ursula k Le Guin. It, it's an easy read an easy uh three hour read just great okay. yeah okay uh, my number three is called Riv's Sanctuary by uh, uh, A.G. Wild. Uh, this is a three a three set. This is it's a trilogy, um, and it's part of the Riv's Sanctuary series. And again, this is a very sweet set of books. The 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 romance is very sweet. It's very um, some of it's a, a little bit of a slow burn. As far as these books go, <laughs> but um, it stuck with me. I think I read it like in February, and I still remember it vividly. It's it's it 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 stayed with me even after I read it ages and ages ago. It was so good. Um, yeah, if you if you're if you're looking to get into the genre, that's a great place to start. It's Rivs Sanctuary by uh, A. G. Wild. Okay. <clears throat> um. Number three for me is Ethan Frome by Edith Wharton. My God, what a hard-hitting story that is. It's a, it, it's a novella. It's maybe 100 pages, maybe a little more. Becky hates it. I think it's it. like 120 pages. Of maybe. Be Becky hates it. because, <laughs> But Be Becky reads subject matter, and I and I really don't. I, I read what's on the page and not so much. Um, I'm a storyteller. Yeah, I know. but um, and, and, I, and I love a good story. And if it's well told, it doesn't to me. It doesn't matter so much what it's about. And Edith Wharton is an amazing storyteller. And and I, man, these characters are so well rounded for such a short, for such such a short work. And at the end, of course, somebody, you know, you feel awful for somebody. I feel but, awful for everybody but, involved. But I didn't think. But I, but I didn't think the story was one hundred percent. I didn't think it was a one hundred percent grim ending. At all. Mm. I know you did. But um, I think I think uh, Ethan Frome is a great place to start with it, with uh, Edith Wharton, too. I read that story in college. Yeah, I know. And I'm still salty about it. I know. You gotta read it again. They no. no. That, Short enough, you could get it read in two hours. That is a negatory Batman. <laughs> I am not up for self-flagellation. Thank you. Okay. Well, Ethan Frome, number three. I can't, I can't wrap my head around that. Okay. Uh, for, so my number two is called The Alien's Ransom by Ella Maven. Um, it's part of the Drixonian Warriors. They're all warriors. <laughs> of course, it's a word I can't say. Um, the Drixonian Warriors series. And I love it so very, very much. I, I look forward to uh, every little bit of, of information I can get from this series. Oh, I, and, hold on a second. If you keep see me leaning in, it's because my neck hurts. I'm I'm having to having to adjust. So that's kind of why I'm just laying. You have to. We'll just start like this. That works. <laughs> um, but anyway, 
the the book that he mentioned earlier, the two thousand page set of short stories. There's actually a short a short story from this series, from the Dricksonian series, in the book, and it was like Christmas all over again. I was so excited, um, but I love this. I love this series almost as much as I love my number one series, which I I think you all know where it's going, but yeah, I mean, anybody that watches our channel very much you may not remember, remember or anyone, what it's about or but. anyone who reads the alien series the alien romance series this is pretty, my number one is pretty consistent for the yeah. the top of the heap yeah no, number two for me is from michael shara it's a it's a civil war novel it's called the killer angels um yeah this almost made the top but it couldn't quite beat out the first book uh the, the book yeah. i got at number one the killer angels um, oh God, one of the, one of my favorite novels of all time now. Um, I, and, and I, I knew I was going to like it. I mean, what? I'm, I'm, I'm moving around with you. <laughs> Steve Donahue, um, recommended this one as well. Like half the, half the books I have on the shelf came from Steve Donahue recommendations or Bill Rutenberg recommendations or Peg at the History Shelf recommendations. Um, uh, and a lot of recommendations from Noah. And recommendations from BookTube. A yeah. ton of these books came from recommendations from BookTube. Um, I'm pretty sure we have like a whole wall of uh, Harlequins because of Sarah. Yeah. And Sarah the, and the, Steve. The, the bookish knitter. Yeah. Sarah and Steve. Mm. Sarah first. Um, we started watching Sarah not too long after we started watching Steve. And I loved her channel even though at the time I didn't read romance. And now I do. And we were like, we too need a wall of Harlequins. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But the Killer Angels... Um, it is a novelization, in a way, um, of the Battle of Gettysburg, mm. but you know, not not a novelization of a film. Uh, there there is a Killer Angels movie that I want to watch, but I haven't seen it yet. Um, but but it is considered to be um, to be uh, fiction, but it's taken very much from history. And Michael Shara, man, what a writer. I, I don't know if he ever wrote anything else. His son took over and is writing, still writing them, I think. Oh. The books, but uh, I haven't tried him yet, so I'm going to. But The Killer Angels, number two. All right, number one on my list is Ice Planet Barbarians by Ruby Dixon. And it's entirely because this is what sparked my love of the genre. Uh, this is the Ice Planet Barbarians and the... the, uh, the what's... What, what is it when you, the spinoff yeah the spinoff series the ice home series mm. the, it's um very 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 popular um and oh i love it so much i love it so much i've read everything I've, I've read everything in the series uh both series and i will continue to do so because they're they're great. They're great world building, great character building, great. There's there's, there's even a little bit of sci-fi in there, believe it or not. It's crazy. <laughs> you want to get Link up here and see if, see but, if he wants to say bye? Yes. While I do mine. Ice Planet Barbarians by Ruby Dixon is my number one. Yep. Because it no, should be. No no surprise there. Slinky. Link. 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 Come on, buddy. Come here. Uh, he, he doesn't want to. He's, He's asleep. Interested. He's asleep under the chair. Um... My number one is Hyperion by Dan Simmons. We read that like early, early in the year. January, February, something like that. Very early. Yeah. Man, what a great book. Hyperion was wonderful. Um, it's interesting. I, I didn't know what to think after the first bit, after mm -hmm. the first story. And then, didn't know what to think after the second story. I was enjoying them, but I was like, this isn't really nothing special. But the longer it went, the more I loved it. That probably should have been on my list some, somewhere near the bottom for me. I, 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 I enjoyed it. I, I didn't absolutely love it, but I, I enjoyed did. it. I did. I, I liked, I liked the, um, the... Hyperion is, will be a top ten read for me all time now. I like the Chaucerian uh, effects of it. Yeah. Aspects of it. I, I, I liked how it was a whole a whole series of people telling their, their stories and how they got, came to be where they came to, where they are. Yeah. Um, excellent. It's, it's a, it's a fun, uh, tool in, in storytelling. So much fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I had, had a great time with it. Um, 
I'll read that again one day, and I want to continue with the series. I hear the fall of Hyperion. Mo most people don't like it as well. But, yeah. But I, you know, I still got to get it read. Um, I think I think Noah says he likes it better. So, so that so that bodes, bodes well. Yeah. Yes, it does. Yeah. Okay. All right. So that's it. That's our top ten of 2021. Yay. A little bit late, but at least it's out. Yeah. Better late than never. And yeah. don't don't forget to if you got time, join us on next Friday at 10 p.m. Or if you can't come in till Saturday for the for the readathon, at least that's come fine. in Saturday. And and let us know your Voxer information if you want to be on Voxer. Yeah. Uh, we have some really good booktubers involved. And if you're not a booktuber, you are still more than welcome to do this with Absolutely. us. Please, please do it. it uh, we, we have a great time with it. We, we do it once a month. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. I can't wait. Yep, it'll be fun. Anyway, thank you, Booktope. <laughs> the gun started up right about then and just yep. threw everything off. Your books are calling. <laughs> Go read. <laughs>